everybody so i've been getting a lot of questions about this amazon coin thing what are they how do i actually use them in game how do i get them on a blue stacks i don't understand so i'm gonna do a real quick walkthrough to hopefully help it uh ease this process for you it's it can seem a little complicated but i'm gonna try to make it as simple as possible all right so before we do the walkthrough i just want to mention we have a link in the description below if you want to help support the channel click that link you get you able to get up to 20 percent off on your amazon coin purchases you just click the link you buy the coins and you're done that's it spend them wherever you want however you want so let's go through the steps on here to actually how to do this Overthor. all right so first up is you just want to be on amazon you've got to have an amazon account and see over here you know i've got my own uh wolver thor account and just search amazon coins okay you might for those familiar with amazon coins you probably all this saw the symbol below there but what you're looking for is this little archer you'll see it pop up here in a second where it's the amazon coin with a female archer and this is where you buy your coins, okay? And they've got a bunch of different denominations on this where, you know, you can go all the way down to 300 and all the way up to 50,000. Now, as you move from 300 to 50,000, the discounts get more and more. You can see it's like, all right, well, I'm not really getting much until you get to 1,000. When you get 1,000, which is 10 US dollars, that's when you start getting some savings. So they'll give you 10% off there. And you keep jumping up 13% up to 5,000, then you get 15%. If you get 10,000 coins, you get 18% off. And if you buy 50,000 coins, you get 20% off. That's obviously the best deal if you know you're going to spend these. And that's the advice I always give everybody is make sure that you know your budget and be smart about it. So if you know over the course of the next month, week, six months, year, whatever it might be for you that you're going to spend four hundred dollars worth of amazon coins on something then my recommendation is buy the fifty thousand pa uh, coin pack because that way you're saving the most money getting the most bang for your buck right so after you do this you go ahead and you just click now and buy and then use your credit card to buy these type of coins before we go into exactly how to do some of these steps one of the things i want to make sure that i mention understand that for the coins to work whether it's in an android or an emulator you need to make sure that the game that you're wanting to spend the coins on is downloaded through the Amazon App Store. So we'll go through exactly how to do that. Uh, really in Bluestacks is where we get the detail. The Android emulator, or I'm sorry, the Android phone is a little bit easier. You basically just download it from your Amazon App Store. You make sure to connect your account and you're good to go. For the MSF people, you know, I, I understand that you just need to connect through the Google Play Store or Facebook and you should pretty much be good that's it you just kind of have it there and you start your game and you spend your coins in game it should be okay from there blue stacks let's get into that next up now we've got to actually get it onto blue stacks right so or to be on blue stacks you're kind of like well how do i get the app you need to get the amazon app store on here and if you go to google play you can look around here and it's like all right where's my amazon app store that's what you're looking for right but as we all know sometimes these big tech companies don't play nice together you got all these shopping you got this amazon prime all of these amazon but you don't have the amazon app store so this is where we've got to show you exactly how to get it on there and it's not complicated but it does take a step and we're going to walk through a couple things that you might find uh a little hiccups but uh, we'll give you some solutions to those okay We've got a link for you to be able to get the Amazon App Store. We're going to put the link for that in the description below. Just click it. What it will do is bring you to the site that you're seeing kind of up over here on the screen. And all you really need to do is actually click get Amazon App Store and you're going to get a download in the bottom of your corner, just like you would if you ever don't download any type of thing. And you can kind of see it down here where you get what's called an APK. I'm not going to cover that. You can Google what APK is and what it means and all that kind of thing, but that's what we're downloading and it should be just on your downloads folder in your window. So now let's go there. All right, so now we're on our desktop. All we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up our downloads folder, which we've already got open. And you can see in there, I've got the Amazon app. There's a number one behind it, but that's just because I downloaded it the other day as well. But I wanted to actually do a walkthrough on this so you guys could see it. So let's just open this up. You can see it's installing. And it's, you can see Bluestacks APK Handler. 
Is that it? Are we done? Lo and behold, it's there, but you might also notice some of my other games were missing. There's a reason for that, because when I was testing this and running through it, what I found was when I opened up my Amazon App Store, either at the lo load in or login screen, it was a crashing or any time that I do something, it would crash, which was kind of a problem. So I was like, okay, I looked into this and what you end up needing to do is you really wanna have a 64 bit version for this. So I originally had the different 32 bit version, which I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. But when I downloaded it this time, it automatically installed it in the 64 bit version. And you can see it's here already. My coins haven't refreshed from what you saw earlier, but it is here. One of the things I also want to point out while we've got the opportunity here is you see in the bottom right corner here, you got this cute little Amazon prize or bat, I guess it's a gift, whatever you want to call it with 10 hours and 27 minutes left. What that is, is a daily coin reward for you. If you click it, look at this. Amazon gives you every day some coins for free. It's not a lot, but if you come in, check in every day, then you get some free stuff, right? So again, if you do that, just click it, do it done, and then it's gone. And then you come back 24 hours later and you get some more. You can see I'm at 1,006 coins because the other day I got that for three. And then today I got it for three additional coins, which is great because it's free, right? So now the question is, all right, well, how do I use these in game, right? So the next step actually is you want to get the game downloaded in the Amazon app store. So let's go ahead and do that. For me, I'm actually playing Marvel Strike Force. That's what I'm looking for. So you can see it here. Let's go ahead and get and download this game. Simply open. Now, depending on the game that you've got, I know for Marvel Strike Force, you've got to actually go through some playthrough. So for any of you Marvel Strike Force players who are uh, watching this to figure out how to do it, this part, while it is a little bit annoying up front, will save you so much money in the long term. You know, five to 10 minute run through of the initial part of the game is well worth it. So I recommend doing this just so you know that you can get and use those Amazon coins. All right, so we're back on our desktop again, and I want to show you this blue stacks. And in case you do run into that problem where if you're in a certain version and you can't log in, it just keeps crashing. This is what you want to do. So just go to your bottom here and you'll see it's already on mine, but you type in blue stacks multi and you should get this blue stacks multi instance manager. And that's what you're looking for. Just open that up. OK, and then you'll get this window that pops up. You can already see that I've got two instances up and running. What I'll tell you is the other day, I only had this 32 bit version on there. And what you want to do is create a 64 bit version and you just simply create instance you go through you'll get a drop down and you click the nougat 64 bit and when it comes through here it's like okay what's the next part and just go through here and select what you put i i did high i did you know the highest settings here and i wanted to have everything kind of at that point and then i clicked create it and it created it. i'm not going to do it here because i've already got it but that's what you'd need to do to be able to get it so that you'd have this 64 bit version and for whatever reason Amazon App Store likes the 64-bit version and that's how you get it to work. You Marvel Strike Force players, you can see that I'm now sitting here with a level two commander, which is not my Wolverthor account. So really what you wanna make sure to do is connect with whatever you've got over here. And then that way you know that your game's connected, right? So I'll go ahead and connect. So for all of you MSF folks who are watching this, I actually didn't have to do the walkthrough. So that is one good news. So now we're in a game that we wanna play and it's just like, all right, now it's about spending money. Right, so is there something on here that I actually want to purchase? Let's go ahead. Here's a dollar offer. You know, it's no big deal. We can do it for this purpose. You click the offer in itself, it loads something, and you can see I've got the option to use my coins. Since I have this instance running in the Amazon App Store, I don't have an option to buy from any other source or use real money. It is just the 99 coins. So if I want this, I simply buy the item. You click it, you lose those coins, and you're done. That's it, right? Buy item. You've got some stuff in here where you're talking about, do you want passwords, all this stuff. You decide what's worse for you, best for you. And that's it. So now I do want to mention that while you're setting this up for the first time, sometimes Amazon or your bank might see this as fraudulent. So you might, you're going to want to work through that, whether it's through Amazon or your bank, just let them know. This is you purchasing these coins. Again, it's not that difficult. I've got an email. I had to reset my password. Give yourself some time to be able to do that. Um, so you're not wanting to buy something immediately get this set up so you can get going on it And one other thing is if you want to not if you decide you don't want to buy something if you get in here 
all you need to do is click off the window so if i'm here it's like well what am i i don't want to buy this anymore just click off of it it'll go away that's it sometimes you'll get an error window that pops up depending where you are in that process there it is there's that failure don't worry about it it's fine it just click okay and move on so that's it that's how you do this amazon coins again it might be slightly different depending on the game but there are some pretty easy ways to get this set up so that's where we're going to wrap up this particular video for my msfers who are here i'm going to have some more videos on this stuff i'll give you a code so that when you use or buy these amazon coins we'll go ahead and put that in in the video and even in this one if you know what you just like the fact that i walked you through this and you want to help support the channel you can use the code too we'll have that at the end just for you guys feel free to subscribe too you know we cover marvel strike force it's a fun game i like that marvel content and you know we'll be doing some stuff again in the future as more games pop up that we find really fit kind of my niche kind of the the community really wants to play and that i also enjoy as well so hammer down that like button notification bell subscription button if you're interested and until next time i hope you have a wonderful day